When you were so only 16 or 19, you're not thinking about other aspects, but when it comes to like, when it comes to like race, you need like, I think you need someone who's on the same wavelength as you, so obviously you need someone, not, like you can have someone on the same wavelength, the same race, but I feel like you need someone who's like, who like gets you, and like, to me like culture's a big thing as well, like you don't want to go like, you don't want to be going to like family meetings and then you just feel out of place, you mean you want to feel a monk. Okay. So like obviously when you're like 17 to 19 you're not really thinking about meeting the parents, do you know what I mean you're only just like seeing each other. It's only when you get to like 22, 20 uh, I'm not 23 so I know, but like when you get to like 21, 22, that you start thinking about okay meeting the parents and sometimes meeting the parents like you wanna be able to feel like you're part of the family. You don't wanna feel like like you're out of place, do you know what I mean like Alright, so yeah. that leads me to my next question. What's the difference between race and culture? Is there a difference? Because you've mentioned culture. <coughs> And I, I'm not sure if you're referring to race matters or culture matters. There's a massive difference because each race or each each country will have their own different cultures. Like um, the Albanians will, um, they're Caucasian, but they have a different culture to the British, to the Italians. Um, the Asians have a different, each Asian country have a different culture to, um, to each other. So yeah, race and culture are different. It's the way you've been brought up as the um, the attitude of the country to certain um, topics, certain um, ideologies. I thought race was like your colour, colour your skin. And culture is like how you've been brought up and where you are. Yeah, yeah, culture, the environment. So, Taylor basically like, went round. Yeah, you went. <laughs> 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 but yeah. So, why did you say um, race matters then, Tony? First of all, let me just clarify before they quit on you. <laughs> You gotta get roasted, man. <laughs> when it comes to love, race has no boundaries, you get me? But in a relationship, race matters because, like you said, there's cultural differences and there's expectations of the family, of the family both on their, their side and your side or whatever it is. In terms of obviously, it's, it's two completely different individuals that are coming together and you need to be able to understand that um, their culture or this culture or his family will be accepting of your of your background, of your culture, of your ethnicity and whatnot. Especially when there's a massive if there's a massive difference. Um, say you've got a British black family with a British white family, that's calm because you know the culture and everything, it's all like ingrained. But if you've got an African an African and black family and a British white family and um, coming together in a relationship, um, obviously we've got a massive difference there. And there needs to be an understanding that, you know, both will be tolerating and whatnot of each other. Like, do you mean like food? So, do you mean so? Like, obviously, I'm not saying I have to. Like, I just need. I just like. I would just rather be with someone who is on the same wave. Not like you're making. Your girlfriend jam, Africa. Your partner jam. You make it one day. You make your partner jam there, and this one's making fish and chips there. This one's making. Do you mean so? Obviously, you need to make food hey, together. Fish and, chips and then when you have chips, kids, when you have kids. No, no, no. I'm not saying it's not nice, but when you have kids, yeah, you're gonna want to raise your kid in the same way you were. Not the same way you're raised, but you want them to be able to like have a bit of your culture. Do you mean you want them to be able to experience the food? So culture. That's the yeah, culture so, matters. All about, yeah, yeah, culture matters. Culture matters, matters, but race. Race, ma race does not matter. I don't think race matters because obviously, like, race is not. I think obviously, racism, like, everyone's got different races, but I don't think it's the main main issue. I think the issue is the culture because obviously, like, a lot of things could go wrong. Like, 
Uh, I think the culture things bring a lot of argument as well. But if you're on the same wavelength as someone, or if you've had the same upbringing as someone, then it's a lot easier to like get on. To me, food's important. So you like the same food. I think if you've got someone that you like the same food with, you're less likely to argue. I think because obviously, like it's not every day for um, chicken nuggets. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean like sometimes you want to actually eat like bro, like um, um, if you're very passionate yeah, about and all them kind Is of your girlfriend things. African? What kind of why you ask me? <laughs> that? Uh, developing race is important as culture. I think culture is more important. Big man, like you're yeah, thinking yeah. about is the food. Like, what do you have to Anthony, say? where are you from, by the way? I'm from Zambia. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it'll be interesting because obviously Pamba Jam is not on your no. on your mind. It's got the right idea of culture. I think it depends on how you're, you know, raised it's in your culture. Because they tell you how. Because some some like races or cultures believe in like arranged marriage, mm-hmm. and you have to like grow up to believe that yourself. So you think that that's the right thing to do, isn't it? And that I think that's your choice. But then you know, at the end of the day, like race does matter. Because it's not it's just respect. Yeah, well, I've never seen you a black girl do something. Raw! Hashtag bait. <laughs> nah, let me. Is get that it. true, Anthony? Let me. Let me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is there a reason? No, there's no reason. Let me That's interject. He's just got a preference there. No, 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 no. Let me. Let me. Let him talk. I, mean, I, I, I do like. Even you. I do like black girls. Okay, I'm not talking about that. I've not found the right black girl for me. Right. So is there a particular thing? Like, no, 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 we're not saying you have to look for is there, a partic- is there a particular thing that I suppose you haven't seen that that's kind of attracted you to a black a white girl? Maybe I'm at that age where I'm still like experiencing things just to don't know what I want. Don't add the explorer. <laughs> no, like obviously I'm not like Let me interject. Hashtag big words. Um, <laughs> interject? That's not even a word bro. It's it is a word. Is that me a new word? does matter um, but more importantly also it's the culture and with other things aside from race matters more than race like culture religion um, I think when we're talking about race for our generation I don't think race matters as much I think it matters more so for our parents because obviously whether it's a white parent or it's a it's a black parent or it's a Chinese parent you know they always want He's actually talking from experience here, yeah, so you need to listen because obviously this is proper experience. Obviously, like the parents would want ideally to see their kid marry someone of their own race. You get me? Because they've they marry someone of their own race. Their grandparents have married someone of their own race, so they would ideally want them to marry someone of their own race. That's for those parents that, anyways, that are um, very traditional. It applies to most most um, African parents, most Chinese parents, most um, Indian parents, unless, of course, like I said, they marry someone outside of their own race. Um, so race matters in terms of acceptance from um, your parents if they fit that category but aside from race what matters most is culture and religion and other aspects that you've had in your upbringing if the other person does not have that the same similar culture as you in terms of you know um, respect um, just aspects of if there's no if, if there's no characteristics or traits of your culture in their culture or they don't they don't have any similarities aside from the fact that you know they're very good looking or whatnot if there's nothing else um if there's nothing else binding the both of you together with the person then you get me that's where it, it, the relationship breaks down yeah i think as well yeah like there's only so much you can teach like let's say you can teach them to cook you teach them they need to go to the food you know yeah, no. <laughs> But uh, it's not about food, but obviously you can teach them a lot, but there's only so much you can teach. Like, love is not even that deep. Like, you might as well just find someone else. You know what I mean, like, that's say you love, love someone so much. Have you ever loved somebody? Yeah, you love someone so much, yeah, but like, when you have to teach them everything, like, it's just too long. It's long, because mm-hmm. obviously, like, you teach them, or oh, when you go to my house, make sure you need that and clean my parents. That's just long. Do you know what I mean? You want to have a girl that. Yeah, but you need to understand that, that a lot of things you're saying is your country, right? Yes. So, are you limiting you yourself to your example, country? No, no, I'm not saying, no, no, I'm not saying just my country. I'm just saying, like, obviously, someone who's on the same wavelength. Like obviously like there's so many other people like there's so many like other races who have got like who've got who are like culturally diverse like not yeah diverse and obviously they've got a lot of mm-hmm. like different things yeah so yeah, but if your girl likes you yeah she'll respect that and do that for mm-hmm. you yeah but then there's only so much you can teach you mean like you're gonna yeah, teach her so you're gonna teach her to create your parents you're gonna teach yeah, her to cook, cook your people if like she's willing it's not gonna be a different if the girl has a good culture regardless of whether she knows where to prostrate or kneel down she will reach your parents with respect and your parents will be able to see that this girl's culture I think you look stupid bro nah bro we are ready no. Yeah, so guys, you two, what would you do if your parents didn't approve with the person you brought home? To be fair, I'm similar to Tony. I don't think my mom would say anything, do you know what I mean? Because my mom's 
my mum's like she's she's not she's not really on that tradition thing where you have to marry someone of your race. Like she's not really bothered, you I mean as long as you're happy and you love the person and you see a future with the person and you know in your heart, like you were saying, to be honest, that's the person that you wanna be with, then I don't think it's it's important, you I mean like <clears throat> I know my mum would agree, but if she didn't agree, I'd have to disobey her. I'd have to disobey her. Just me, I'd have to, you know, because then she realised at the end of the day that it's my love life and she'd have to come round. I think for me, my parents would this fight. What's more important for my parents is that the person that is a Christian, you know, <laughs> strong in the Lord. <laughs> you want to respect that you're a Christian and she'd be fine with it. So, guys, tell me a little bit about your ideal woman. I do. She got a cook, obviously. What about your hands? Huh? In her cook. Nah, let him talk. Let him talk, man. Yeah, but, know, it's got to be like a fun relationship. Uh, what do you mean fun, though, bro? No. Fun. Like we pray together, we eat together, doing stuff together. Yeah. Cool. Going, I don't know, going around, traveling, doing all that stuff. Hashtag Thailand. Pretty much. I believe the hashtag. Um. <laughs> she got to respect my culture. My race, my religion, everything. Obviously, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not specific on race or anything. She can be white, black, Asian, Chinese. But I am gonna say, recently, I've I've liked a lot of white girls. <laughs> which, which no, there's nothing wrong with that. But that's just recently. Maybe like in the future, there'll be a black girl. Is there anything in in, in particular that you like? Is it that they're more friendly? Is it that white girl. what is what is it about them? Just the white girls that I've met. Mm -hmm. Like, like the fun that I was saying, there's been fun times. Fun yeah. times? Yeah. What kind of fun? Just the way we got to know each other, just, it was the whole experience, you know. My ideal woman is obviously someone who I'm in the same way that I'm with, and someone you can do things with together. So, like, go to the gym. You don't want someone who you're going to the gym and is just like chilling in the yard, not wanting to do exercise. Because let's face it, yeah, when you get older, you start putting on a bit of size and you don't want you come back to the end, like, this is not how I left you. <laughs> and then obviously, you know what I mean? You don't want people to be like, you don't want to be with someone who's, obviously you want, like, I don't mind. Like, obviously I'm not with someone, I'm not with someone for what the uh, physical appearance, but it's important that your, your girl is not getting out of shape. I don't want, I mean, you don't want, I don't want someone lazy, I want someone who, obviously, like, you can go to the, you could do things with. Yeah. And um, explore, yeah, you? explore, and then someone who like does not expect you to do all the cooking. Like I, I'm all for this. Um, I've heard of some situations whereby the female, or likewise, I'm sure the guy um, can't can't bring themselves to understand the bigger picture in terms of like their future plans and um, what they are saving towards or whatever the situation is. So for me personally, my ideal woman needs to be someone that can um, step out of the box to see the bigger picture. I think that's really important in the relationship. Um, my ideal woman, secondly, is someone that needs to be someone that I can trust. Um, I think trust is key in a relationship. Um, and the moment the trust is broken, I think that can be really hard to um, repair. Even if you give it a chance, um, even if you give it, I mean, I'm someone that believes in second chances. So if I give someone a second chance, and I mean, I'm a bit, you'll always be on the edge because that trust initially is broken. So personally, I feel like my ideal woman is to be someone I can trust completely. I've always said I want my ideal woman to be a professional. So professional in terms of uh, a career path. Um, you know, I'm a... I'm, gonna talk about it. I'm a professional and I want my wife to be a professional uh, because I feel that way we can both maximise our opportunities. And back to what you're saying about keeping in shape. But I feel like that's a... For me personally, I feel like that's a vice versa situation. Um, I'm a... I'm not in shape 24-7, but I do try and keep in shape somehow, whether it's jogging or whether it's going to the gym and just doing the ones I want to. Um, I, it's not that I expect my woman to do that, but I would like for my woman to do, to put in the same level of effort that I'm putting in the relationship as well. Because if I'm working out to make myself look good for you, to make myself attracted to you, because let's be honest, there's Instagram nowadays and you know, with a click of a button, these girls be going and looking at these Instagram models. <laughs> I, can't comp I can't compete with that, you know what I mean? <laughs> but at least I can do a little something, you know, to make myself more attractive to my woman. In a relationship, I'm someone I will always try, regardless of what it is, whether it's in um, working out, whether it's um, cooking for her or whatever, whether it's um, little surprises, taking her out, or whatever it is. I'm this one's looking for a wife. <laughs> 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 looking for wife. Selling oh, this no, no, oh, this it's single, isn't it? Like, Guys, bro, chill, but it's not that deep. Talk, talk to my pastor. <laughs> <laughs>
crying nah, nah. about In terms of race, I'm not that bothered, but like, like I said before about how the parents would ideally want someone that um, that's black. I think for me, anyways, um, because obviously in tradition, a parents would like to see their kids marry someone of their own um, ethnicity. Um, so if your parents disagreed and they didn't want you to, at the end of the day, if I love the woman, my parents will agree. Simple as that. Once the home comes to, once, until they come to an agreement and come to an understanding that nothing is changing, this is the woman I'm in love with. This is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Because at the end of the day, it's me that's going to be waking up next to someone for the rest of my life. You get me? So whether she's white, Chinese, Asian, black. Whatever it is, if I'm in love with someone and I know for sure in my heart that this is the person that I'm ready to put in 100% effort for, then my parents need to understand that I'm the one married person, not them, because God bless them, but at some point they will pass on and go to heaven and I'll be stuck in, on earth with whoever it is I'm married with. So I need to say, and it got the woman ID, you know what I mean? Okay, guys, for the final question. There's one of my mates here, and like it's not a race, it's a culture thing. Yeah. And he was dating this girl, and like they were like going out and, and stuff like that. They meant to get married, but because like she's Asian, and obviously he's black, he's one of the mandem. And um, what's it called? Why is your finger pointing at me? <laughs> Let that move your ass. Don't point your finger at me, bro. Nah, that was not, not. <laughs> nah so she, she basically, she basically ended it with him because like because of the cultural difference, and she was too scared of how. Uh, her family was going to react. And then what did she do after that? Oh yeah, and she got with some next man. And what was he? Exactly the same race wow. and culture. To be fair, she, she would have known from time anyway, so she just wasted my man's time. Took man for a uh, cup of tea. Yeah, uh, took man for <laughs> one and three more you get fresh. <laughs> yeah, took man for, for a side man. I was chilling in the kitchen with Nana and Nana body.